I just wanted to share my absolute favorite line of skincare products. The brand is Formula 10.0.6, and they don't have a ton of different products, but what they do have is really, really good. Um, the thing I like about this is that it's extremely affordable. You don't have to empty out your bank account just to have good looking skin. And these products are extremely effective. I get mine from Ulta. You can either order it online or go into the store. And if you look at the online reviews, these are rated as highly as products that cost $50 a bottle. But these only cost $6 each. So that's an amazing value to get a product as effective as a $50 treatment for only $6 a bottle. And one bottle lasts me about two to three months. But I guess it just depends on how much you use it and what all areas of the body you're using. Um, the other thing I like about this is that they incorporate natural products into each of their skincare products. Now, they're not 100% organic or anything like that, but they do incorporate the natural products and the natural properties of those ingredients found in nature to help improve your skin. So the first thing is just the normal face cleanser. It's called Best Face Forward Daily Foaming Cleanser, and it has passion fruit and green tea. This is 5 fluid ounces and 150 milliliters. Again, this lasts me about 2-3 to three months. And it is just a clear gel-like liquid. And the thing I love about this is that it smells really good. It has sort of like a natural fruity smell, but it's not overwhelming or perfumey. It's just like the smell of the natural ingredients. And um, a little bit goes a long way. I just use like maybe a quarter size amount, and that's enough to wash my face, my neck, my chest, and the top of my back where I have sensitive skin and tend to have breakouts. I personally have oily skin, and this product works great for me. I find that even though I have oily skin, if I'm using products that are made for oily skin, they tend to do too much to try to eliminate the oil, and then my skin ends up becoming dry. And because it's dry, my skin produces even more oil to compensate, and then I get a ton of breakouts. So I, if you do have oily skin and tend to have breakouts, sometimes you can actually be making it worse by choosing a product that's harsh on oily skin. Um, so you might want to go the other way and just try to do an experiment and try something more mild for sensitive skin. Even though it's not made for oily skin, it may actually help you. At least that's my case. This is the Best Face Forward Daily Foaming Cleanser with Passion Fruit and Green Tea. And I honestly just cannot say enough good things about this. It's extremely affordable, it's effective, it has a good smell, um, and of course I really like the packaging, it's very modern and cute. The other thing I use is the toner. It's 6.75 fluid ounces, 200 milliliters. It's called So Totally Clean Deep Pore Cleanser. Um, there's actually two of these. There's this one, and then there's another one that has like a seafoam green bluish color. And that one is for sensitive skin, but I just use the regular one. This is great for either after you wash your face, or if you feel like your face is dirty in the middle of the day and you just want a quick way to cleanse it, you can use this with just like a cotton round and put it on there. The other thing I like about this is you can also use it as a spot treatment if you have a particularly large blemish. You can just put this on a Q-tip, dab a bunch of that on there, and it will help to dry it out. The smell, I mean it smells like a toner, but it's definitely not as harsh of a smell as a lot of other toners I've tried. And one of the other things I have is the Deep Down Detox Ultra Cleansing Mud Mask with orange and bergamot. And it's 3.5 fluid ounces, 100 milliliters. This works really well. Again, I have really oily, acne-prone skin, so my first instinct is to choose something that's made for oily skin, but a lot of times that dries your skin out even more and gives you even more blemishes because your skin is overproducing oil to compensate for the dry skin. This is great. This will take off the extra oil without drying out your skin. My skin doesn't feel any differently after I've used this, except that it just feels really, really clean, but it doesn't have that tight, suffocating feeling like a lot of mud masks do. This will just simply, you put it on your face, it dries, and you just feel extremely clean and refreshed. So it's really great if you have oily skin, and it's really great if you want to unclog your pores and just, if you feel like your face is dirty, just to get it feeling more clean. And again, this is only $6. Now, I don't often need a moisturizer because I do have oily skin, but especially if it's cold outside or it's really windy, um, then I do need a moisturizer because my face starts to feel a little bit chapped and tight like that. It gets that tight, sort of stinky, itchy feeling when it's dry. If you have oily skin, you do want to use a moisturizer if you do feel like your skin is getting dry because that will keep your skin from producing more oil as a defense mechanism, which will prevent you from getting even more blemishes. So this is called Seriously Shine Free, and it's a moisturizer specifically made to not give you a shiny look. Um, 
It's a mattifying oil-free moisturizer with aloe vera and bamboo. Um, it's six dollars. A little bit goes a long way. It has a very sort of thin, creamy texture, and it's not it's not thick or anything. It feels just like a really, really thin lotion. It's just a very neutral smell. It doesn't smell like chemicals, but it doesn't smell like perfume either. I like this because a little bit goes a long way, and it won't leave you feeling like it's thick and cakey. It won't feel sticky or tacky, and um, your skin will just soak it right up, and it'll feel very moisturized and refreshed. I highly recommend it. Six dollars. This is 2.54 fluid ounces, 75 milliliters. Now, if you're like me and you're prone to getting blackheads, which I get blackheads like crazy. I have them on my nose, my cheeks right here, my forehead, and my chin. My acne actually comes from two places. It comes from having too much oil and it comes from having clogged pores, which is also a result of having too much oil. So for me, having a good pore strip is essential. Of course, some of my blackheads I can take out with a bobby pin or by squeezing them, but there's just a lot that you can't get out and oftentimes if I use my hands or a bobby pin, it gets really inflamed and irritated, so I don't really like doing that. This these are amazing. I've used a lot of pore strips before, and these by far work the best. They're individually wrapped. They're made with um, tea tree and kaolin, and they're just awesome. You can either use them on your nose, because they're in like a nose shape, or you can cut them, and often I'll put one on my nose, then cut them, and have one on my chin, then put the other two parts on my cheeks right here. That way I'm covering everything. And then of course sometimes I put one on my forehead too. With other pore strips, you get some of the blackheads out and you can see some of them but you don't really feel like it did that great of a job. These work amazing. When you take this off you see a ton of blackheads and it's just right there in front of you. It's really gratifying feeling to know that those aren't in your face anymore. On top of that, the ones that it doesn't actually take out and get adhered to the strip, it will dislodge them in your skin so then you can just simply remove them by either squeezing them out or um, washing with an exfoliator. So not only do they come out on the pore strip, it helps dislodge them in your face so that you can remove them with face wash or, you know, manually. Once again, these are $6, but it comes with six strips, so that's a dollar a strip. Personally, I think it's worth it. I mean, I don't use them every day. I probably use these like once every two or three weeks. That way, it has a chance to build back up before I use it because Ultimately, it's stripping off the first layer of dead skin and the top layer of the blackheads. So, if you want to be able to get the best results, I would say use one every two or three weeks so that it has time to build back up so that the pore has something to grab onto to pull them out. If you try to do it too often, nothing's going to happen because it won't have anything to hold onto. So, I highly, highly, highly recommend these. The only downside about these is that it does kind of leave a film on, the, on your skin, um, which is, I think, just a mixture of like the paper and the strip and the materials they use to make it sticky, but it's really not that big of a deal. I like to do these before I wash my face so I can just wash it off naturally, or if you prefer to do it after you wash your face, just simply take some of your toner and just put it on a cotton round and wipe your face and it'll come right off. So yeah, this is my absolute favorite brand of skincare. I have sensitive skin, I'm very acne prone, and this is the best thing I've found. It doesn't feel like super chemically, it doesn't feel really acidic and harsh. At the same time, it doesn't have any oil, it's not going to clog your pores, it just makes you feel really refreshed and clean. And I think that's the best feeling in the world if you're used to having sweaty, oily, clogged skin. Again, each of these are $6. I get mine at Ulta. I think you can find them a couple other places, just go to their website and see. Um, really, I can't say enough good things about them. They're awesome products and I highly recommend you try them. And if you think about it, these are even cheaper than drugstore products. This is cheaper than if you get like a Neutrogena face wash, a Neutrogena mask. So you really have nothing to lose by trying these. It's Formula 10.0.6. Hello, for me to check it out. I'm a huge fan and I think you will be too. Thanks. Bye. It's not perfumey, but it doesn't smell like chemicals either. I just spilled it everywhere.